In the United States, uh, there are 33 states currently that have anti-boycott laws that state that if you have a public contract, you need to sign a pledge promising that you will not boycott Israel. If you don't do that, if you don't sign this pledge, you're fired. There has been several Americans from different political backgrounds who have stood up against these pledges and taken their states to court, challenging the constitutionality of these bills. When we saw the courage of these individuals, we knew we had a, a very powerful narrative arc for our film. to crush uh, dissent and uh, uh, stifle the ability of internationals to hold Israel accountable for the human rights of uh, violations of the human rights of Palestinians. And one of the manifestations of those efforts were these anti-boycott laws that started popping up across the United States from 2016 onwards. And we knew we needed to sound the alarm bell. to make it clear to our governments that they do not have the right in democracies to dictate who a citizen can boycott or not. Whether that is in the United States or in the United Kingdom, we're seeing authoritarian bills being passed that want to control thought. There is very little knowledge in America about the degree to which free speech rights uh, tend to have um, a limit as it regards advocating for, for Palestinians. And that is, I think, one of the things we hope our film will start generating more awareness.